Hey guys, this is Jimmy and welcome back to my art life. Today's video is going to be about Prang watercolors. I have here Prang's largest set, which is a 16 color set, and the front cover you'll see all of the colors included in this set. The set also comes with a free brush with nylon bristles. A label inside shows you all of the names of the colors included in this set. We have white, red, red violet, orange, blue violet and yellow, turquoise blue and green, blue green and blue, yellow green and violet, yellow orange and brown, and lastly, red, orange, and black. You can also remove the palette just by bending the case a little bit and the palette pops right out. Once you remove the palettes, it reveals the piece of paper that has more details about the prank set. It says refills are available as shown in the diagram and colors listed below. Be sure to specify half pans and color name and number. And below that shows you the name and number code for each color. But this label has a secret that you will see at the bottom left. There are two more colors, 27 magenta and 44 gold, which are not included in any prank set. It is only available as a separate pan that you can purchase. As you can see here, not only the palettes are removable, the pans are also removable, so if you run out of a certain color, you will be able to replace it by buying a refill. You can also customize the arrangement of the colors, and you can replace it with a special color. Fortunately, I took a trip and visited M. Enriquez Art Supply and found one of the hard to find special color the number 27 magenta. In here, I just like to show you how easy it is to customize your palette by replacing a color with another one. Like for example, if you don't use a certain color that often or if you don't use it at all, you can replace it with, uh, let's say, this magenta. If you want to learn more about M. Enrique's art supply, you can check out the description box below or you can wait at the end of the video for the video link. So now let's do a quick swatch of all of the colors in the prank set, although I won't be including white and black just for this time. Prang is a semi-moist watercolor so don't try to touch it because it will definitely stick to your fingers. Prang are transparent watercolors, so as you can see on our swatch sheet, it doesn't show up on the black line, even as I color on top of it. This means that the coloring style or technique that you can use with these watercolors is glazing. If you haven't heard about glazing before, this is the technique where you first lay down a base color, usually a lighter one. Then, once the base color is dry, you can layer another color. Since the colors are transparent, so the base color will show through the second layer you made. So for example, if your base color is turquoise blue and you glazed it with yellow, the part that overlaps will become green. Glazing can also be done with multiple colors and is not limited to two colors only. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's finish up with the last color, which is brown, and then we'll move on to our special color. All right, so now is the moment of truth. We will now use the Prang special color, magenta. So far, it is looking vibrant and I love the shade of color it makes. I love how all the colors of Prang are so vibrant in spite of it being transparent. If you'll notice, the magenta is just as vibrant and its color and shade is very much different from the rest. This color will really be a good addition to this palette. So you may be asking, why is magenta so important? Well, let me show you a few things why. Let's start off with the fact that magenta makes the perfect pink. Although I know that we are taught in school that red and white makes pink, but magenta makes a more vibrant true pink. There's another misconception that magenta is the same as purple. Well, actually, they do look similar if you look at them separately. So here, let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, myth debunked. Purple is not the same as magenta. In fact, magenta is used to create purple or violet. Now, let's go back to basics. Ever since grade school, we have been taught that red plus blue equals violet or purple. Today, we will do just that and let's see how it goes. First, I'll lay down a cerulean blue. Next, let's glaze it with a red color and see if it turns to a purple or violet color. As you can see, it turned into a grayish muddy color, so now let's try it out with magenta. And there you have it, a perfect purple color. You can also create violet by using more blue and less magenta. Let's try it one more time and this time we'll use another red color in the palette. We'll do it differently by laying down the red color first, then we'll add the blue layer on top of it. Well, it almost worked this time, but the violet color is too muted, almost like a gray color. Now, let's try it out using magenta.
there you have it, a vibrant shade of violet. So that's it for today's video and today's concept actually came from an inkjet printer. If you will notice, inkjet printers have C, M, Y and K labeled on its inks. C is for cyan, which is a shade of bright blue and M is for magenta, then Y is for yellow and K stands for key, which is basically black. Thanks for hanging out here in my art life and I hope you learned something new today. I also hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did, so don't forget to try it out yourself. By the way, please help keep my art life active by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now everyone and take care.